2020 cross country is back finally in I one know. form. Runners from several schools in Southern Northern California competing here in Arizona at the Desert Twilight Classic. Uh, first off, names. Uh, Nathan Lennox, Scott Keen. And some new names here, new faces. You mentioned Nathan that basically it was your first big race. Yeah, my first big race for the team. I'm grateful and honored to be able to race in the big, uh, or South Temecula Trout Club for this race. So South Temecula, you great oak, great program, great tradition. Your first big race in a major meet, really. Were there nerves? Uh, not too much. Uh, really? I, trust, I trust my training. Um, I know uh, Souls is going to have us ready for this race, and uh, I think I think he had us ready and raced our race and very happy with the performance. Scott, how about yourself? How was your first experience in this one, something like this? Um, my first experience, it definitely felt really fun. Um, kind of coming from a little bit under the radar, I haven't been like really uh, um, in the debut of like the spotlight and stuff. So it's kind of my first race, really under the lights in like a sweepstakes race. Um, I kind of felt like accustomed to it because of the training. I believed in it just like Nathan did. Um, Shells didn't put too much pressure on us, and so we're just in progress to um, yield better times in the future. So that's what I'm excited about. The as far as finally, finally getting a chance to race, how important was this for you guys as a bit of a competitive reward, especially since you've been training hard to show what you can do? Yeah, of course. Like you said, we've been training hard. Um, been looking forward to this race. I think we found out about it four weeks ago and uh, started um, standing up for it. And we're really happy with what we did here. What's the culture been like in practice uh, or in your workouts? A lot of new faces. Is it very competitive? Is it kind of feeling things out? Well, how would you describe it? Yeah, of course, it's great. It's always going to be competitive. You have to fight for your place. Um, luckily, uh, luckily, you have a competitive group. And um, just they're not, just, not enemies, they're teammates. Given that you know you mentioned it was kind of your first big race, something like this at this level, what kind of goals did you guys have individually coming in? So goals-wise, it was just to basically go, um, basically top 20. Um, I'm unsure if I did that right now, but like I said, um, I'm hoping to yield better times in the future. Um, I don't think I'm at my peak right now. Souls um, knows what he's doing with his training, and so that's the schedule that I'm following. And um, yeah, just basically hopeful to yield better times in the future. Um, it's not really a short-term thing, it's more long-term, so, so I can feel this out where I am right now, and then, like I said, do a better times. Yeah, of course, um, we're excited, uh, excited to get out here. Um, of course, it's our first meet in a while, so just we know that it's going to be better, our training's going to be harder, and we'll be ready for March. For a program as tradition-strong as Great Oak, how does it feel to be on that first squad right now? There's been such legends in the past, Isaac Cortez, Spencer Goggs, uh, Tyler Schindler. So with that comes responsibility, and you have to step up when you put the test. Right, definitely really big shoes to fill, and um, it's kind of a lot of pressure on us, but like I said, we're really accustomed to, accustomed to it, so it's kind of nails that culture in their heads. It just becomes part of our daily lives, and it's just an integral, integral part of our, just our identity, so it's not really too much of a surprise. Well, the, the recipe definitely works every year, so again, a new batch, new names, very good results. But again, guys, look forward to hopefully having a, a full cross-country season uh, in a few months. Continue on with the great training. Good to see you guys. Thank, Thank, you, so you. Thank you so much.